Claude Code for Web just dropped, meaning you can now use Claude Code directly in their web app, and everybody's calling it the future of coding. But after actually testing it, there's something that nobody's talking about. Yes, it's powerful. You could build real apps right inside Claude without a terminal like before. But once you actually try to launch or preview your app, you realize there's a massive fetch. In this video, I'm gonna show you what it is, and I'm gonna show you an alternative that nobody's talking about. So let's get into it. All right, guys, before I actually show you the Claude Code for web in mobile in action, we need to talk about a few things. I wanna first of all talk about traditional vibe coding. Think of platforms like Bolt.new and Lovable. Both of these platforms revolutionize the way we build apps as non-technical people. And this video is really gonna be tailored towards those non-technical people that wanna build fully functioning apps from scratch just by writing out text prompts with platforms like Bolt, Lovable, and Claude Code. So we obviously had this user interface that was extremely simple. It was like ChatGPT. We basically just type in a text prompt and it will actually begin building our app for us from scratch. Not only will it build our app, write the code, but it will show us a preview of what our app will actually look like. For example, this app was built in Bolt.new in a couple of text prompts and it actually has APIs integrated so we actually could generate images with the Gemini image generation tool. And it's spun up into a functional web app that we could actually use directly inside of our platform. Not only that, but we could actually click publish and then we could actually go ahead and share this as a URL to friends so they could begin using it. And we do all of this with zero coding experience. So this is how these platforms work. Bolt and Lovable, this is how they work. But let's move on to the next phase of vibe coding. And that phase is called developer vibe coding. And these are platforms like Cursor and Claude Code, which I'm gonna talk about in this video. And if you have ever used these before and you're not technical, you probably see this and it probably makes you wanna like throw up. For me personally, I'm a non-technical AI user. I have no clue how to use something like this. Looking at it just honestly scares me because I mean, it looks like you have to be a coder to actually understand and use this. So these platforms right here could actually help you build fully functioning apps. I'm talking about like full enterprise grade software that, you know, could be deployed to thousands and tens of thousands of users, which platforms like Bolt and Lovable before were not able to actually do. Same thing for Claude Code. Claude Code has completely taken the world by storm, but it's really mostly for technical people. If you want to use Claude Code, you need to understand what things like GitHub repositories are. They're basically places where you could actually take your code, store it, and then you could do what you want with that code from there. But let's now move on to the future of vibe coding that everybody is now talking about. So this is Claude code on the web. This basically means that inside of Claude, you could come directly to Claude and directly inside of this, you could instantly click on this code button and it's going to pull up this Claude code window. So instead of us actually having to use Claude code directly inside of our terminals like this, like you don't want to do this. Believe me, if you're non-technical, this is a scary place to be. Instead, you could now access this directly inside of your app inside of Claude. So right now I'm going to talk about how to use this and I'm actually going to compare this to Bolt so we could see which is better. All right. So first things first, inside of Claude code, there is something that we need to do. We actually need to connect this to GitHub. So if you don't know what GitHub is, GitHub is again, basically a place where you could store all of your code into a repository. And if you're non-technical, this could kind of be a little bit of a headache. So let me go ahead and do this now. I'm going to click on install app. I need to confirm my account. I'm going to click on this and then we'll have our account all hooked up inside of Claude code. And you can see, I could actually click on this. And this is a previous GitHub repository, which is basically where all of my code is stored that Claude code actually wrote. So what I'm going to do now is let me give a prompt to actually build an app and code something from scratch for both of these platforms. So the prompt I'm going to use is build me a flashcard app that helps me brain dump all of my notes. And then you turn it into interactive flashcard. I'm going to give that off to bolt V2. And I'm also going to give this off to Claude code. And then let's see what these key differences are here. While these are spinning up, I want to actually talk about something that's really important. So Bolt V2 just dropped a couple of weeks ago, and this actually has Claude Code baked in directly to their platform. Think of most of the abilities that Claude Code has independently and combine that with something that is very simple to use and has a simple interface like Bolt. And those two things collide. And that is exactly what we're looking at right now inside of Bolt 2. So we have our Claude agent here, which should be able to do most of the heavy lifting that Claude Code could usually do. All right, so we have Claude Code on the left and we have Bolt on the right. You can see Bolt is planning this out. It's going ahead. It's actually building out our project now. And same thing for Claude Code. It's going ahead. It's writing all this code here. And both of these should be done here shortly. All right, so inside of Bolt, you can see we now have this interface called Brain Dump Flashcards. And I don't want to focus on the complexity or the style of our apps in this, in this video. I just want to talk about the infrastructure that makes both of these platforms work and compare them together. This is a very simple 
beautiful app. I just want to preface that, but I'm going to actually go ahead, paste in my notes that I took from AI here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on generate flashcards. And instantly like that, we have these flashcards generated. Our app is working properly. We have all of this directly in here. And what we could actually do if we want is we could click this publish button and this will instantly publish our app to the web that we could actually start interacting with. And just like that, we have our app on this URL here. We could customize this URL directly inside of Bolt. We can make it a custom domain that we actually have if we have one. And again, let me test out this app. You can see that our app is working properly directly inside of our web browser here. This is something really important that we're gonna note when we compare this with Claude Code. So if I go back to this window, it looks like Claude Code is still actually writing the code and working on our app. So let's give it some time and then we'll come back to this. A couple minutes after Bolt actually finished coding our app, looks like Claude Code finished. And let's talk about something that's very important now. This is our output. Our output is the code that Claude Code wrote us. But the problem with this is we don't see our app live right here. In Bolt, you see that we actually have our app directly inside of our platform. You could see what it looks like. You could play around with it. You could interact with it. And you could even launch it to a URL like I did here. Our app is now live that anybody can begin using. Inside of Claude Code, we don't have that ability. So what we could do is we could actually push this into GitHub. We now have all of our code stored there, but we're gonna have to go ahead and integrate this into a terminal or something that is over the head of most non-technical users just to see what our app would look like in real time. This is why I really wanted to make this video because Claude Code for Web is pretty cool and we're getting closer to being able to use this if you're non-technical, but Bolt already has this baked directly into their platform where you could use the Claude Code agent, which is basically the same thing that we have with Claude Code right here, but the interface is much simpler to use and the utility of this is much higher. One thing I do wanna say with Claude Code is it is pretty cool that we could actually use this now directly inside of our mobile app. So if you have the Claude mobile app, you could actually begin using this right now. And this way you can actually code on the go. But again, the problem with this is that we can't actually see what our app will look like and we can't very simply publish and launch our app. Another thing that is pretty cool with Claude Code is we could actually have it doing multiple things at once. So we could have an agent working on one part of our app and another agent working on the other part. And we could have it doing different tasks at a different time. Right now, Bolt, you can only have it perform one task. You could obviously create a pretty comprehensive prompt and it will go off and do all these things like one by one and we'll like cross those off the to-do list. So that's one thing that's pretty cool about Claude Code. But I hope if you guys stay to the end of this video, you guys could now understand why I personally am still using Bolt that has Claude Code integrated instead of using the new Claude Code web app that everybody is talking about since they launched yesterday. If you guys got some value from this video, make sure to leave a like and comment what you thought about this. Subscribe to this channel for more AI for non-techie related content. With that being said, guys, thank you for staying to the end of this video and I'll see you guys in the next one.